So this is Nicole with Gaming with Madness, and today we're going to be looking at SOS Dino. So what you're trying to do is move your dinos across the board, avoiding the lava flow, avoiding the volcanoes, oops, I broke the volcano, the pointy rocks, and the thorny bushes. You want to make your way to the mountaintop, and you also want to be able to collect eggs on your way. So to start your turn, what you're going to do is draw a tile out of the back. I drew a meteorite. So what you'll do is pay, place the tile on the board with the matching symbol. And you'll perform the action in which the tile sets. So according to this tile, it is a meteorite and I can move one dinosaur two spaces in any direction at that. You can go forward, backward, just not diagonal. So I'm gonna choose this guy in one, two spaces. And that's the end of my turn. You'll continue to draw tiles from the bag and place them on the board. Um, the goal is to get all of your dinosaurs safely to the mountaintops. However, you're gonna come across the obstacles of the lava and the meteorites. So the game will end once all dinosaurs are safely to the mountain or the last dinosaur on the board is eliminated by either lava or meteorites. Once the game ends, you're gonna add up all your points. For each dino that you save, you're gonna get two points. For each egg that you save on your way up the mountain with the dino, you're gonna score one point. So you're working together to save all the dinos, save the eggs, and get the highest score. So that was a quick overview of SOS Dino. Again, it's a great family game. It's great for all skill levels. It's cooperative, so you're working together to meet the same goal of saving your dinosaurs. So this is Gaming of Madness, and I'm Nicole, and we'll see you next time.